here we have to determine which of the values of theta make the following. a true statement. So our first one to test is pi over 6. So this is like the cosine of pi over 6. It should be equal to 1 half if it's true. But we know that the cosine at pi over 6, let's draw that out. Is this length right here? The um, the right measurement and so that's going to be square root of 3 over 2 which is not equal to 1 half therefore pi over 6 is not a solution for number 2 we'll check pi over 3 so what we want to do is see if cosine of pi over 3 well we know that that is equal to 1 half so this one checks The last one is the cosine of 5 pi over 3. So we'll go ahead and take a look at where 5 pi over 3 falls on the unit circle. If you've got your unit circle available, then you can just look right on it. If you don't, we can just judge 1 pi over 3 is up here at 60 degrees. 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. So notice that it has the same left right movement as 60 degrees, whereas pi over 3. So this also is equal to 1 half. So this checks. So our solution set out of those three are pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. The only one not working was pi over 6. Now if we don't restrict our angles, like if we ask what are all the solutions, to the cosine of theta being equal to 1 half, well we need to list every angle that has a cosine value of one half. And so to do that, we need to list every angle. Let's draw out our circle again. Every angle whose cosine value comes over here to a length of a half. So between 0 and pi over 2, the two angles there are, the first one is pi over 3, plus any multiple of pi over 3. So plus 2k pi where k is an integer. So that gets this guy up here. Now we got to talk about this guy down here, which is 5 pi over 3 plus 2k pi. So those are all the different angles. If you picked any angle, okay, if you picked any k value, it would generate an angle that would make the cosine of theta equal 1 half.